finally, we had the sport bike. It's a perfect replica of in-game. In the Ultimate Bundle, it's going to come with everything. The female character, mm -hmm. the male character, and the actual sport bike. Everything you see, it's die cast. There's LED, the brake lights gonna light up when you press on the pedal. There's lights in front as well. The wheel turns, it's pretty impressive. You have to plug it in or is it double A battery? I think it will be a watch battery, a small round watch battery. You can see right here the scale of the actual motorcycle and with a character also. That's a pretty large size. These are 1.6 replicas, so it's 1.6 of the actual size of the real thing in game. We have the uh, Altaïe right here and the Bayek. So this one will be ready to go by the end of July. Yeah. So wow. the Rosa and all the Animus effect. That's one pretty impressive statue. It's like 30, 35 centimeter high and like 30 centimeter wide as well. So it's huge. Wow, it uh, looks like gold turning into gemstones or something. Yeah. But it's the church in uh, Italy, if I'm not mistaken. We have our new uh, Valhalla Assassin's Creed that's going to be released for pre-order starting uh, July 21st. So it's our uh, first Viking from the Valhalla series. What's cool with this one is that I think it's going to come with two different heads or we're not sure if we're going to just have people decide if you want the male head and the female Ed, because Ubisoft decided the body in game, he's wearing his full armor anyways, the entire game. So it didn't really make a difference. This one's gonna release uh, around the same day as the game. So November, December this year, and pre-order is gonna start on the 21st. Our master nine eyes. So it's our first designer tours that as you can see on his left chest, that's the signature of the owner, the artist that did the master nine eyes figure. The Kickstarter, we did 142% founded. Ever since we have order from across the globe, we've done a full black version. We called it the Dark Star Edition for the Thailand Toy Expo. And uh, we sold out our 50 unit in uh, less ah. than a minute. Look! Oh. <laughs> uh, it, uh, it was super cool. The first Master Nine Eyes was the vinyl version. That's the resin version. What scale was that one? The previous one, vinyl, is 112 and the uh, resin version is 1.6. Because since it's super huge and heavy, it had to have a base, and the vinyl version doesn't have a base. And there's like decals as well on the backpack for his blade. So made sure to really not just have a huge block on his back and just to, to put the blades in. Like the toner made sure that every corner of this piece was relevant. For the resin version, the legs will be in metal, super sturdy, and uh, there's no way it's gonna break. So that's the plushies from uh, Tekken. Super cute, like Shibi style, $25. Soft and super durable as well. Kazuya, this one fits perfectly with Tekken Devil Jin quarter scale. So anyone that needs to buy the, <laughs> the statue should get their own little uh, fella as well. <laughs> I like the details that we made on this costume, like robe with the wristband, the little stash, the air. The new stuff that we have that wasn't shown in New York is these. Rainbow Six wasn't announced yet. It's one of the best game out there in terms of eSport gaming. Like the community is super huge. There was no Rainbow Six collectibles out there. Hmm. Only a few from UB collectibles, but nothing licensed. And since they've been working with us for the past like 12 years, they've decided to give us a go. So right now we have these one six for Ash and Smoke. We were working on quarter scale statue as well for Rainbow Six. These are highly articulated uh, possible figure, just like the Cyberpunk and the Ghost Recon that you may recall from New York. Is that real cloth? <laughs> yeah, it's totally real. We have Laurence in uh, Montreal that uh, she used to work in the uh, cinema industry doing like costumes. And uh, we hired her to do costume now for the one six scale. Look at that. So that's smoke. They are going to have their signature weapons that they use in game. I know Smoke has like a grenade in the 1.6 package. He's going to come with that particular grenade with the same color scheme and all on it. Smoke. And you said you're working on a quarter scale? Was that right? Yeah, that's going to be huge. And uh, can't say much about who it's going to be, but we have a few surprises up our sleeves. Uh, <laughs> a big question for mark. The, for Rainbow <laughs> Six, for sure. Yeah, that looks awesome. What? How big is this guy? What is this? This is a one third. 
So this one what is 63 better? centimeter tall. This one is only the license is for uh, Europe, UK, China, uh, Middle East, and Japan. So we cannot sell these uh, in America. Ah. And this is a perfect replica of the original Stormtrooper made by Ensworth, the designer that made the actual uh, Stormtrooper back then. And uh, what people like about it, uh, it's because there's some like imperfection on it and he kept it for the original design like real hardcore fan will be able to notice these kind of little things and the, they're going to be proud to see that it's true to the first original stormtrooper and also we were working on uh, different heads so you'll be able to change the head and it's gonna have different color the original design in america is owned by disney disney didn't sell us the license but this license for the rest of the world is owned by shepperton design studio ah so we have to buy this in canada not even you can only buy it like in uh, europe united kingdom oh, terrible <laughs> uh, yeah even in canada us uh, south america it cannot be sold well, all you need are friends that live outside of North and South America, then. That's all. <laughs> exactly. You have some friend in UK, you have them buy the statue, then they're going to have to ship it to you. What's scary, it's uh, like the duty and all, like with oh. shipping, it's, it becomes crazy. Yeah. And that's the watchdog too. What I like about this one is that it's actually two statues in one. So on top, it's Marcus. At the bottom, you see Wrench. But these are two independent statues. So you can buy Marcus alone and you can buy Ranch alone. And if you buy them in bundle, you save a hundred bucks. Ah, but and then you can put them together like you did in the other, in the bundle. Exactly. There's three way you can put them together. And what's cool is that they're made in a way that no matter where Marcus will be, it's going to fit with the design and the painting behind Ranch as well. So if we put Marcus on the left side, technically. Oh, look at okay. that. So you yeah. see the Reaper, Yeah, it connects there, but it creates the entire design all together when they, they are put together. That is cool. And that's the other way. So it's on the right side of um, Ranch. So you see same, the design with the two fingers at the end. <laughs> this is like, uh, you know, when you make a background for a computer or something, and then you repeat over and over again on yeah, the background, yeah, yeah, yeah. on top, on bottom, on right and left. It's like this, this is great. And you see that the last stand, so on top of one of each other. About 60, 63 centimeters tall when Marcus's base is on top of the ranch statue. It's quite a big statue. Oh yeah. Like it's either you build your house around the statue, or you need to, to prepare some place to receive these uh, well. Lots of great designer that thought about how to separate the piece, how to make it all one beautiful piece when it ships. Uh, all the details like in his jacket, the pants, shoes, tattoos. The only thing you need now is uh, the drone that can actually fly. So you have to have right? a, kind of a little <laughs> drone as a separate accessory with a little controller so you can make it fly. <laughs> but you see in, uh, for this tattoo, there's a different set of ends for a wrench. You see now he's doing his gun, mm -hmm. but on the other picture, he's doing like uh, this instead. So they come out and you can put it back in. And then, so it's a different set of hands. And same for Marcus, instead of, you see now he has his phone in his hand. I see the hand, yeah. other picture, it was the drone. The drone and the controller for the drone. You decide what you want to put, if you want to change. So there's a few different way that you can put out your statue together and uh, it's going to look different. Very nice. Yeah, that's pretty much for now. We have a ton of new license that we're gonna announce soon it's been two years now that we're really in the licensing business but it took about two years to really bring product out now we have the assassin's creed altair in stock we have the bayek we have these two the dark souls we have court of the dead also these two plus this one so these three are in stock uh these three plus she's devil gym will be in stock by the end of the month Watchdog, Marcus and Ranch are in stock already and Ghost Recon as well. This one is leaving China in the next shipment. So a ton. Yeah, exactly. Everything is in stock. And now we have product getting in customers and so pretty proud, pretty proud. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> Thanks, so, John. Okay. Until next time. 
Until next time, take care. Take care.